about kind of long-term health as a bodybuilder. Do you believe that um, your colleagues are careful enough about the amounts of drugs that they take in terms of their you know, longevity? Um, and also, how old were you when you were uh, introduced to performance enhancing drugs? Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, I, it's hard to say what a lot of people's opinions are um, as far as, uh, you know, what they do. I, I'm not really there to judge. I mean, people have a lot of, there's a lot of variables that come into, okay, how healthy can a bodybuilder be? I mean, it really comes down to your genetic makeup. I mean, some people are prone to, you know, cancer, heart disease early. It's not necessarily because, you know, they lift weights or take anything. I mean, this could be something that stems in family history. You see that a lot, you know, you know guys have heart attacks in their 30s and 40s. I mean, that could be hereditary. So you have to really look at, the, you know, your background and what your family history is. Fortunately for me, my dad's 84 years old. He still runs every day. And my grandparents live to be like 100 years old. I don't have any history of heart disease or cancer in my family. Um, but with bodybuilding side, you have to look at, we're different from a lot of sports. I mean, we can look at, and I, you know, Olympic tested sports with as far as drug performance enhancing, where they can use creatines, they can't use test boosters. There's a lot of supplements that they can't use, uh, ephedrine, that kind of stuff. Whereas bodybuilding market, has been supported by these products. Okay, we are financed basically, all the bodybuilding events shows, a lot of these booths you see have a lot of supplements that are banned from Olympic recognition. That's been the problem with bodybuilding because obviously as athletes endorsing products and getting sponsorship, you're gonna have higher levels than most other people would. So what you buy in this nutrition store may miss a few compounds of becoming a, a classified as an illegal steroid or performance enhancing, but it works in the same pattern. So you, that's why it's very, very important to get a lot of knowledge and read up a lot of stuff before you actually take a product. You should always research a product. And we can talk about the basic things like creatines and all these things that, you know, as a parent or someone, a family member that you see, you know, someone, a youth taking a product, I don't suggest any kind of supplements to anyone under 18 years old. It's not necessary. I, I mentioned it earlier in the seminar, you know, the supplement thing comes after the diets in check and all that stuff, I mean, I was aware of steroids probably for the first time when when Ben Johnson was popped at the Olympics, made the front page of Sports Illustrated. You learn a little bit about it, but you know it's kind of you know one of those things that is talked about, of course, in bodybuilding, but other sports now it's getting more recognized. I mean, baseball and all these other athletic sports. But I mean, that's the thing is you can progress without the drugs, of course, but you're never going to get away from it, especially in the bodybuilding arena, because of the supplements that are available on the market that mimic a lot of those, okay?